Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim. Um, I just want to let you guys know we added one more host to this show. That would be uh, Scrub Quad Pro from YouTube. He messaged me the other day saying that you know he felt that we could expand our channel covering WWE. He sent me a video of him covering it, and here's the first video of him. You know, I, I and just real quick, this is what the reason I added another host is because I want to expand on what we're doing. I want to make this like almost a mini sports network here where we're covering every sport that you could possibly want to see and I'm, while I'm not a huge WWE fan, I used to be when I was younger I think there's a lot of people that are it's going to be covering WWE, tap out, that type of thing so here you go what up guys, Denton Day, Scrub Quad Pro, Cash Kelly, AC Sports Report uh, so today I'm just going to be bringing you guys a little bit of some WWE Raw Recap Tough Enough Finale talk about the winner of Tough Enough last night's show uh, John Cena, the main event picture going into Capital Punishment, and all. So Monday Night Raw started off with the two uh, finalists for WWE Tough Enough, uh, Luke and Andy, in the ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin, and then uh, right before the show starts, you see a limousine, and then it's Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon makes his way down to the ring, and first off, I'd like to say it was really good seeing McMahon and Stone Cold in the ring again together um, so then those first Vince McMahon suggested that he was going to announce the winner and then Stone Cold pretty much told him to shut the hell up and um, then he announced the winner and the winner of 2011 WWE Tough Enough is Andy uh, congratulations to Andy I look forward to seeing you in the WWE hopefully in the near future you can make it to the main event picture or just grab a title or two um, I think the reason that Luke lost, his downfall was pretty much his cockiness and his uh, arrogance, but um, hopefully Luke will also make it in the WWE because The Miz didn't win tough enough and he's a WWE champion. So hopefully Luke will have that benefit as well. And Andy didn't just get a contract, he also got another prize. He got a slap from Vince McMahon and then a stunner. Pretty much a welcome to the WWE, right? Uh, I guess so. Um, so, there were actually a couple good things that come out of this show. They were, were uh, sort of pursuing the uh, push of Alex Riley and R Truth. Uh, R Truth is obviously in the uh, main event WWE Championship match at Capital Punishment, which is June 19th in Washington, D.C. at the Verizon Center. Uh, and then Alex Riley will have a match at Capital Punishment versus The Miz. Now, personally, out of these two, I like Alex Riley's push better. Because I think the way that he is working with The Miz and how Michael Cole sort of involved in that, he takes the heat that The Miz and Michael Cole get and it makes it good energy towards him, which gets him over better with the crowd. Because nowadays you don't really see uh, too many faces getting pushed real quickly. The last one to do that was Kofi Kingston, I believe, when he had that feud with Randy Orton a year or two ago and that really didn't amount to anything so hopefully that's not Alex Riley hopefully this push amounts to um, main event status um, and possible WWE championship or world heavyweight championship by the end of the year another good thing was Booker T was back in the ring um, he, uh, he had obviously been one of the trainers on Tough Enough and he was at the uh, broadcasting little booth with um, Smackdown um, but today he was back in the ring and he was actually in a match versus Jack Swagger. Uh, he ended up winning that match via countout. It was sort of like a little throwout match, but Jack Swagger had challenged him, and Booker T pretty much handled him, and Jack Swagger got himself counted out. So for his first match, it was sort of like a little like a little toss aside type thing, but it was still good to see him back in the ring, and he looked in uh, phenomenal shape. And then the main event was John Cena and Alex Riley versus R Truth and The Miz, and before the match actually happened, like when it was first announced, John Cena said that he didn't trust Alex Riley. That was sort of a tease, like some a teaser that something like that may play into the uh, final outcome of the match, but it didn't. John Cena and the Alex Riley beat the Miz and Our Truth, but then due to Stone Cold's biased, um, biased. Uh, decision making after he stunned the Miz with a Stone Cold Stunner. The GM reversed it 
and so the Miz and our truth won. Oh, and by the way, Stone Cold was a guest referee. And then so the after the um, GM reversed it, Stone Cold got a punishment, and his punishment was the guest GM for next week's three-hour WWE All-Star show uh, that starts at 8 p.m. and goes to 11 or 11.05. So it, I find it kind of weird that um, Stone Cold makes a bad call in a match and then he is rewarded by being the uh, GM for next week. I think that's kind of awkward. That didn't make sense to me at all. Like, But I mean, whatever. We get to see Stone Cold some more and on live TV instead of dub, uh, Tough Enough taping, so that's always good. So um, that's pretty much it for Tough Enough and uh, Monday Night Raw. Capital Punishment going in a week or two away. It's looking pretty good so far. Uh, hopefully SmackDown will gain uh, some good matches in there with the World Heavyweight Championship and some other good matches. And that's pretty much it. So my name's Scrub Quad Pro, and thank you guys for watching.